whatever legacy he thought he left in the house, this is his legacy now. His former colleagues singing him out for criminal prosecution because he wouldn't answer questions about what he knows about a brutal attack on our democracy. That's his legacy. But he hasn't left us any choice. Mr. Meadows put himself in this situation, and he must now accept the consequences. According to the records, multiple Fox News hosts knew the president needed to act immediately. They texted Mr. Meadows, and he has turned over those texts. Quote, Mark, the president needs to tell people in the Capitol to go home. This is hurting all of us. He is destroying his legacy, Laura Ingram wrote. Please get him on TV, destroying everything you have accomplished, Brian Kilmeade texted. Quote, can he make a statement, ask people to leave the Capitol, Sean Hannity urged. As the violence continued, one of the president's sons texted Mr. Meadows, quote, he's got to condemn this ASAP. The Capitol Police tweet is not enough, Donald Trump Jr. texted. Meadows responded, quote, I'm pushing it hard, I agree. Still, President Trump did not immediately act. Mr. Chairman, I move that the committee favorably report to the House the committee's report on a resolution recommending that the House of Representatives find Mark Randall Meadows in contempt of Congress for refusal to comply with a subpoena duly issued by the Select Committee to investigate the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol. The question is on the motion to favorably report to the House. Those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed aye. say no. In opinion of the chairs, the ayes have it. Mr. Chairman, on this vote, there are nine ayes and zero noes. The motion is agreed to.